Hello everyone, welcome to Theme Grill. So in this video, we'll be connecting Pipedrive to your WordPress site. Now to connect Pipedrive to your WordPress site and collect user information, you're going to have to create a form which users can fill out. And then whatever information users fill out into that form, that information needs to go to Pipedrive. And in this video, we're going to do just that. So stay tuned. But yes, before we get started, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Alright, so here we are within the computer screen. Now, to connect Pipedrive to your WordPress account, you're going to need a few different things. First of all, it's going to be a Pipedrive account. That is a no-brainer. After that, make sure your WordPress site is ready. And now for your WordPress site, you're going to be using this Everest Forms plugin right here. Now, a little bit about the plugin. Everest Forms is a free WordPress form builder, but if you want extended features like the one that we're going to be using in this video for Pipedrive, there's a Pipedrive integration within this plugin. So you're going to have to purchase one of their premium plans this personal plan should do just fine. It is going to be a standard checkout process after which you'll be mailed with your account credentials. You can simply log in, you'll be greeted to a site like this, and you can simply download the Everest Forms Pro zip file from right here. Simply click on download and your file should start downloading. And while you're at it, you can also go ahead and you can copy your license key, which I have right here. So I'm simply gonna copy this. It's going to be necessary later on. So now let's go back to our WordPress site. Let's go within plugins and let's click on add new plugin. After this, let's upload the zip file that we just downloaded. Click on upload plugin, choose your file and upload the Everest Forms Pro zip file. Click on install now and let's activate the plugin. So after the Everest Forms Pro plugin has been installed, you'll get a pop-up something just like this. Simply click on click here to install the plugin. It's just installing the free version of the plugin because that is also required. So let's go ahead, let's activate this plugin. And now there we go. We're going to be redirected to this dashboard right here. Now you can simply make your way over to add-ons. And here you can search for Pipedrive. This is the Pipedrive integration right here. Simply we're going to click on this upgrade plan button. Don't worry about it. This is where you can paste in your license key and you can activate your license. So once the license has been activated, simply enable this module and there you go. The module has been activated. Now, the good thing about this plugin is that you can not only create amazing forms with custom fields, but you can map those fields with Pipedrive's custom fields as well. So you can get a lot more information for your leads or your contacts. So yeah, let's see how it works. Let's first go ahead and let's create our new form. If we go within this all forms menu right here, Everest Forms will give us this form by default. So let's go ahead, let's edit this form. So you can create a new form as well, but since we already have this form, let's make changes to this form. So I don't want the name field. I'm going to delete this. There it is. And I'm going to add a new row actually. And I'm going to make this a double column row and I'm going to drag it up top. And here I'm going to get first name and last name. And to make these fields required, I can simply click on the field and towards my left, these field options will be shown. I'm simply gonna make it required. There it is for last name as well. Make them both required. Now I'm going to add the email field right underneath our first name field. And now I'll need a phone field to collect users phone number. So I can just simply search for phone. And there it is, advanced fields, drag the phone field right there. If I click on it, you can see it's field options here as well. I'm gonna make it required and I'm going to make our email field required as well. It is required by default, so it's all right. Anyways, we here have a subject and a message field, which I'm going to leave it as it is. But what I'm going to add is I'm going to add a custom field. I will add a date field here, date or time. I'm just gonna drag it up here and I'm gonna change its label to date of birth. And here in this field, people will have to pick their date of birth. So I'm going to make this field required as well. Suppose you have a policy where you only work with legal adults, then yeah, you can use something like this. So yeah, for this field right here, I have a custom field within Pipedrive. So yes, we'll be mapping both those fields. So whenever someone fills out the form, their first name, last name, email, phone, alongside date of birth will be sent into Pipedrive. So let's save this form first. And now let's go with an integrations tab and here you'll see pipe drive so let's click on add new connection and i'm going to name this pipe drive connection why not okay i'm just going to save it and here you'll have to paste in your pipe drive api key and you need to give a pipe drive account nickname so to get the pipe drive api key go to your pipe drive account or your pipe drive dashboard and go here up top and click on personal preferences. And once you're here within your personal preferences, you'll see this API field, simply click on it or the API menu. And here you'll see your personal API token. So simply copy this token right here, go back to our WordPress dashboard and paste it in. And here I'm going to give it a nickname, simply gonna name it TG Pipedrive. And let's click on connect to Pipedrive first. 
So there you go, it has been connected and it has selected our account as TG Pipe Drive. So here within the Select Services tab, you can either choose Person or Leads. Depending on where you want to collect your users, you can choose Person or you can also choose Leads. And here you have some other fields that you need to fill out. For this video, I'm going to choose Person for now. So yes, with this one, we're going to just collect contacts. So depending on your Pipe Drive account, choose which organization you want to use. I only have a single organization within Pipe Drive, so that is going to be selected by default. I'm going to select a label for customer. You know, you got your hot lead, warm lead, cold lead. I'm just going to leave it as customer for now. And here you can choose its visibility options, item owner, item owner's visibility group and subgroups, or you can just make this contact visible to all the users. So I'm just going to select all users for now. And here what we can do is we can now map our form fields. So for every person within your PipeDrive account, these fields are available. You know, you've got your email address, first name, last name, and phone number. So we're going to map this information from whatever information we collect from our form. So we designed our form with all these fields right here. So for email address, I'm, I'm going to select this email field that we have within our form. For the first name, we have our first name field. For the last name, we have our last name field right here. And for our phone number, we have the phone field. So we're going to map all these fields here. And now for our custom field, if you remember within the form i had a date of birth field and i have also created a custom field for date of birth within my pipe drive account so to create custom fields within pipe drive from your pipe drive settings if you go here within data fields and if you click on data fields here you can basically add a custom field and you can you know give it a name you can select what sort of field it is for me i selected a date field and yeah this is for the lead for the person it's the same as well if you go ahead you add a custom field then it will be visible right here you can see i already have a date of birth field so yeah, let's go back within our Everest Forms settings. So from here, I'm going to select my custom field, which is date of birth. So this is the custom field within PipeDrive, date of birth. I'm going to select that. And now I'm going to map this custom field to the field that I added within the form, which is date of birth as well. So here I've selected it. I'm just going to click on save. And also you can add multiple different custom fields. You can also add multiple different connections. And as I said before, you can do this for person. You can do this to collect leads as well. Anything you got it covered. And also let's not forget about the form builder. It's it's simply amazing. So now let's see how this works. Let's slap this form on a page. So let's go within pages and let's add a new page. So here I'm just going to name this page contact and I'm going to choose a block. Let's search for Everest forms and you'll have this Everest form block right here. Simply click on it and select the form that you just created, which is this contact form right here. There you go. This is our form. We're simply going to click on publish and there you go. The page has been published. So now I'm going to open this site in an incognito window. So simply going to paste our my url and we have this contact page right here and also please don't mind this is a completely new site so yeah it's blank but here within our contact page you can see we have our form ready so now if i use fake filler to fill out this information there it is and i'm also going to select my date of birth i'm just gonna set it to november 2024 12th there it is so if i submit this form maya carlson is the name it says, thanks for contacting, we'll be in touch with you shortly. First of all, within our WordPress backend, if we go within Everest Forms, then if we go within Entries, you can see there's already a notification of a sort. If you scroll down, you'll see Amaya is here. Amaya Carlson with the email. And if you view this entry, you'll see their date of birth here as well. Phone number, email, subject, and message as well. Okay, so back here from within our pipe drive dashboard, if we go within contacts, within this people menu right here, you can see Amaya Carlson is right here. You know, you've got their email, their phone number, their name. And if I click on it, we also should be able to see their date of birth, which is November 12th, 2024. And there you go. We've successfully connected our pipe drive account to our WordPress site. So I'll Hope you guys found that video helpful if you did drop a like subscribe and i'll see you whenever i'll see you take care